Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Now, today I have a special one for you guys. This is all taking place in the wilderness. Today, I bring you Camping the Lava Maze Teleport for 24 hours. The goal is to kill as many KBD PVMers as possible, hopefully run into some PKers, and also, if anyone is in the process of training prayer, we're going to be taking them down too. Here we have our first KBD PVMer using a simple range setup and it looks like he's on Slayer task so it's a really good time to be doing this especially the past two days with the release of dead man mode. While most PKers are on dead man mode I will be taking advantage of the wilderness because I imagine a lot of people are thinking that with less PKers more wilderness activities can be done safely. Well they're thinking wrong because for 24 hours I camped this spot 12 hours one day 12 hours the next day I managed to kill over 130 people this first guy being the very first of many 160k loot and then I move on to this guy who looks like he's doing a master clue now I just want to go on record and say that most people who do clue scrolls never risk anything but if they're wearing diary gear and a weapon it's really hard not to want to attack them especially if they have a pet out or something but yeah for the most part not a lot of loot from the clue scrollers the lava maze is the third option on the burning amulet which clearly this guy just clicked and that was where I was scouting out I was actually more so afraid of other high-risk PKer scouting this location, but since dead man mode is out, the odds were in my favor and I only ran into two max PKers throughout this whole grind. So that was, uh, rest assured, I was pretty much safe the whole entire time. The good thing about people killing KBD on Slayer Task is they do have that potential to lose the Black Mask, bringing me a nice 760k. They did go down in price quite a bit, but I'll still take it. Now on the very low end, this is what you can expect, 52k from people that are training prayer, but on the high end, you can expect over 100k if they are using more than just 27 dragon bones or better to your bones. I definitely saw a lot more people training prayer than I did at killing the KBD, but nevertheless, here's this guy on task once again. Seems to be a very popular method to do KBD is being on task, getting that extra DPS. 365k from him, not too bad, but we still haven't seen anything too crazy yet other than the black mask. In the description below, I'll be leaving links to some incredible PKing videos where people camped the King Black Dragon area for a long, long periods of time and it really did pay off. They got multiple drops of bandos and anguishes, all sorts of incredibly expensive items and really watching all those videos motivated me to want to try it as well. So uh, I figured what better time and I was also using my alternate account, my 20 defense beer, Jack Rust. He did kill a few people during this grind but I was mainly using him to scout. I would enter the KBD lair and see if anyone was risking a lot of items and I would specifically camp that world if I saw that they were risking enough for it to be worth camping. And while waiting for these high-risk KBD PBMers, I would occasionally run into guys like this, just welfare PKers or much, much lower level PKers, and that's really the benefit of being in 41 Wilderness is that you can almost attack anyone. Got about 350k from him, so not too bad at all. And now to talk a little bit about the gear I was using. As you can see, this Toxic Staff of the Dead is not only really good for fire surge hitting constant 40s, but it's also a really good melee weapon if you have some melee switches with it. So while I was freezing my opponent, I could either mage them or melee them and they wouldn't really expect it and it'd be very hard to predict so that was a really good setup for me I think the only regret with this setup is that I was using ornament kits on my occult necklace as well as my anguish so that kind of doubled the price of them but I did have everything parched so that is one upside well we managed to kill big daddy bow 69 and we did get about 100k uh, you know a lot of these starting drops aren't the best but what can I say I don't really pick and choose who comes to KBD I just want to go for everyone because you never know what someone might have. Even that guy one iteming, uh, he might have been a GIM, I'm not sure, but 215k in Dagoneth Bones is what I received from him. And then uh, shortly in the same world, I did run into another KBD PVMer. And just looking at this guy's gear, you can imagine, you know, with the glory as well as the boots, he's really not going to be risking anything. I doubt I'm going to get an archer's ring from him, but I'll get all of the bolts and all the ammunition, and that comes out to be a nice 260k. And when you get multiple kills uh, in, you know, a span of five minutes, that can really add up. Uh, uh, especially when we look at the price check at the very end of the video. It's actually really amazing how much money I made from 24 hours of this. Ran into probably about five Mystic Set PKers during this grind, and I did manage to kill every single one, uh, mainly because I was just outmatched with their gear and uh, the DPS was really on my side. So that's a nice 500k from that guy. Looks like this guy's not on task, but pretty good setup. 106. I was actually surprised to see so many low-level hundreds killing KBD, but 300k from him, uh, I guess it is understandable 
people, especially if you're on task, but off task, I feel like you wouldn't get too many kills an hour at that combat level. Same with this guy, you know, welfare gear, but Dragon Hunter Crossbow, you never know. Uh, you never know with him. 572k just because of the chaps there, so I really do love when I see Blessed D-High. That's always going to up the value of the kill. Jack Russ just taking care of a little bit of business there. I was killing a couple Rune Ore bots and uh, some low-level PKers whenever I ran into them while I was scouting. Got another decent bone kill here. Uh, this guy was using Bulwark, and right when they arrive, you can imagine they have a full inventory. So 186k from the first guy, just about 60k from this Welfare uh, KB Deer. And then this next guy was wearing absolutely nothing, but I attacked him anyway, and then he put on full mage gear. So yeah, Tome of Water and everything. I was very surprised to see that. So I got 163k from him as well, and that was a really good inventory. That all took like less than three minutes to pull off. I also made it a point to change the settings of my loot keys so that anytime I'd get a potion or food drop, it would be included in the key rather than show up on the floor. So that actually increased the profit quite a bit uh, for each of these kills here. Pretty average kill from this guy. I think he had rune boots, so I think all we got was the barrow's gloves, but still decent. And this other guy, I don't know what he was doing. I thought he was doing a clue scroll at first, but then it looked like he was going to KBD, but nevertheless, just in potions. And the 50k fee brought that to 200k, so it's really good money when you get the hang of this. And as we're chasing this guy named Grandpa, you know, we, we did manage to get the kill, and then we ran into another guy named Large Grandma, so I don't know if they're like in a group together or what, but very interesting usernames. And speaking of uh, usernames, I actually did change my username for this video about halfway into it because I was getting a lot of, uh... Well, let's just say negative feedback from the people that I was killing. But I did get a nice bone stack from that last guy, 438k. And that's why, you know, I do go out of my way sometimes to kill these bone runners. This random guy here, just teleporting right back, 528k from him. I mean, it's crazy, the risk that these guys bring. Another, uh, what's that, 75 or so superior dragon bones. Killing bone runners is something that you can't really camp, though, because after you clear out the total level worlds, they definitely start lowering the risk. For example, this guy here in a astounding amount of bones, 860k, and also 155k from the first guy, but I mean, that's something you don't see every day, 100 noted superior dragon bones. But again, it's the peak of dead man mode right now, not many people are expecting to die, so I really wanted to take advantage of the last two days, and even if uh, I was to do it today, I'm sure I would have very similar results. But I will leave that to you PKers watching this video. And for you bone runners, I apologize. If you want my advice, don't use total level worlds, because that's like the number number one place where guys like me go because you can't fight back and I can't fight real PKers because I suck. But more on that later. As you can see here, we're just camping at the 2Ks. At this point, I just kind of wanted to check out the altar. I never really went there in person other than maybe three times during this video, but it was actually a good end result. I ran into a lot of people that weren't getting bothered by anyone and I got a nice 215K, 436K, and 126K. And again, these people never bring food, so it was just a very quick uh, compilation. After cashing in those keys, I did return to the Lava Maze in the same world, and I ran into this guy here who, um, I, I really don't know what he was doing, judging by that gear setup. My only guess would be Scorpia? Uh, maybe Wilderness Slayer, not really sure, but 1.2 mil from him. And all those kills were mainly just because KBD was uh, silent for quite a few hours. This was all recorded in the late night, both nights that I was doing this, so yeah, it's understandable that a lot of players log off around 3 to 5 a.m. But luckily we have Dammy Duro here who did return and ended the silence, and we did get him for about 230k, pretty average. Quick little 450k PK from uh, this low level that I scouted on Jack Rust, and then uh, this guy, not too too much, but it was here that I decided that I should change my username. I wasn't really expecting any positive feedback from the username, but this guy seemed to, uh, he seemed to really like it. I mean, not only he said it was funny, but it was real funny. You know what's not funny, though? Splashing a teleblock five times in a row on a guy who is risking an astronomical amount of money at the KBD. As you can see, I have thrown every teleblock, and he wasn't praying magic on all the ones that splashed, and the one that I did hit he was praying magic. What'd that mean, Mr. Nose? Oh, I'll tell you what it fucking means. It means that the tele block was two and a half minutes, not five minutes. Now, I knew I was going to be splashing on this guy, and I also knew I was in trouble if he fought back, because I wanted to smite the whole time. I didn't want to really die. I wanted to get this loot, and as you can see, it was a very long, drawn-out battle. Zero on all the claw specs, uh, just so many splashes, and yeah, my face turned very red after teleporting out of there. He did return on his scout, and, uh, he said stop that 
And then he, uh, I think, what else did he say? Don't do that. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, he got away. Don't know why he's complaining. He saved himself like 30 mil there. So that was very upsetting. But it just goes to show, guys, there are some golden gooses out there killing KBD. You just have to find them and kill them. That's, yeah, that's a pretty big part, too. That was the end of day one, though. Now we move into day two. And as you can see, the username is a little tricky at the end there. It says killed at KDB. Uh, it's actually supposed to be killed at KBD. I get called out enough for mispronouncing every word in this game, but I guess I can't spell either, so. <laughs> Moving on from all that, though, 500k PK from the Mystic Set guy with a nice smite at the end. Following that, I did kill this Diary Set. Um, not too sure what the loot was. I think it was like 60k. Ran into yet again another PKer, but I think this guy was actually maybe trying to PVM because he didn't have any switches with this setup, and um, yeah, I don't even know if... Oh, Combat Bracelet. Yeah, that explains it. I apologize for saying good fight to this guy. I know we don't really actually fight these people. We more so just attack them, but uh, yeah, he was a nice guy. 177k from him. I ran into this scout account uh, that I think just attacks PKers so that their other account can run through to KBD. Killed him a few times, but nothing crazy. Uh, and now we run into, like I said, probably ran into four to five Mystic Set PKers, and this one had a Void Waker. They went for the double spec, and I predicted that they wouldn't eat in time with that bolt, and it turned out I was right. So the Dragon Crossbow pulling through once again for a nice 780k. You'll notice sometimes to save uh, video length time, I just click on the key manually so that you guys can see the loot. Sometimes I'll show it just depending on what uh, what it is and what bones they're using because I, I do find loot chests to be pretty interesting at times. Here we have an example of that ladder getting very annoying, but luckily we got the claw spec in uh, during that kill so he couldn't keep going up and down the ladder. That does end up costing me a few kills because it's just a very tactical way to log out, but we ended up getting 460k from the KB Theater. And occasionally, you'll always run into that one guy doing Mage Arena 2. So I took him down. Ghostly robes and all. Power amulet. Not sure why he was wearing that. But we ended up getting about 44k from him. Um, guys like this, I think I killed this guy two or three times during the last two days. But he didn't really risk anything. It looks like he has a little bit going on. But honestly, 17k? That's a disgrace. I get more from killing people who have bones in their inventory. Like this one guy for 160k. Gotta love those superior dragons. Dragon Bones. Uh, I wanted to take a little bit of a break, a detour, because it was a very silent hour, so I went to the obelisk and just saw if anyone would show up. Got a couple of nice kills there, but I feel like the Burning Amulet, the Lava Maze, that's where I'm meant to be. That's where you're going to run into more people. Uh, but it does help if you have another scout account at the obelisk at the same time. If they don't log out once they see your scout, you do have the opportunity to run to the front of the gate and get them as they come in, even if you're standing at the Lava Maze instead of the obelisk. You know, it's funny, the timing that this guy's says getting rich because five seconds after I killed him this man showed up about tree fitty is his name and as you can see he is geared to the max now he doesn't have primordials and he doesn't have full Missouri but he's got a chance to give me something so we're gonna go ahead and try to get this kill here I really hope I get it because I already missed out on the first golden goose don't want to miss out on the second this doesn't happen too often this is like 15 16 hours in and this was the second most valuable player that I ran into and he really put me through the ringer with this ladder here going up and down and up and down. Luckily, this was one of the only inventories that I decided to bring out my fang because I've seen so many people PK with it and kill me with it that I wanted to use it as well. And even with his blue afro friend closing the door for him, I did manage to get the kill at the very end. Heck, I even tried to TB another KB deer before I exited out of the area, but 5.4 mil for my hard efforts there. Luckily, this guy had 11,000 Zora scales, so that helped the price. Early Earlier on in the video, I mentioned that if someone has a pet with them, it's just an automatic, you know, let me try to kill them. And that was one of those examples. 200k, though. Uh, 158 house teleports. I guess I'll take it. I mean, they had a max cape, so I don't know why they're bringing house teleports. But anyway, here's a, something you don't see every day. A twisted bow at the KBD. I don't really get too excited when I see twisted bows unless they have, you know, equal uh, amount of impressive gear to go along with it. Or they're scold, but that never happens. So just judging by this person's gear, I knew it would be a decent kill, but nothing crazy. Uh, did like the name there, Hotbox Steve coming in, but uh, nevertheless 465k from him. I decided to give the 2200 worlds a quick check at the Chaos Altar, and only one guy was there. He had no food, no armor, but 1.1 mil in bones. That's what I mean by you really just never know what these people have. 500 noted dragon bones. That was probably one of the biggest bone kills that I got throughout this grind. Ran into another uh, lower level PK or got a 
nice 357k from them. Then I ended up fighting this one guy, Luigi. Uh, we went for quite a while in this fight, but uh, he ended up running, so I just turned on long range. Didn't really need to keep freezing him, and to my surprise, I got a nice 100 dragon bones from him. And here's an example of me logging out from someone looking pretty scary. That guy's actually uh, probably hating me a lot today. I cost him a huge kill because he tried to kill me again today, so he knows what I'm talking about. Either way, this guy here, very interesting setup. You know, he's using a normal whip. Um, pretty interesting username, Mom, I'm Cold. Well, that's... You know, that's something, but I wanted to kill him. He had a strength cape on. Very just strange looking setup for KBD. And even stranger loot. Uh, 16,000 deaths, 13,000 muds, and 14,000 astrals for a total of 3.8 mil. Now, keep in mind, I actually did not hop worlds at this point. We were in world 377. I simply just uh, came back, and this guy was bothering my 20 defense peer, so I just quickly killed him. No big deal. I actually thought I smited an anguish there, but then it turns out out he didn't even have an amulet but anyway making my way back to my lava maze teleport spawn area where i was camping the whole time i ran into the same guy in the same world just five minutes later mom i'm cold well he did uh you know try the ladder trick and he almost got away at the very end of the fight here but we did manage to kill him again he has the same exact gear but this time an attack skill cape somehow some way this guy decided that he wanted to bring all of those runes once again i'm not sure what spell he was trying to cast, but 4.2 mil just because of the 16,000 batch of runes that he was bringing. Looks like we found our goose. Nice 250k from uh, the average KB deer. Uh, we now turn our attention to this guy who I unfortunately did not splash on the whole entire time he was running away. I honestly felt kind of bad for him, but he seemed to have a pretty good attitude about it, so good fight to him. That feels good to say and good to see, but I don't ever expect people to be nice to me as I'm killing them. That's a little ridiculous of me to expect, so, you know, it was, it was a nice change of pace anyway. Now we have an example of a GIM, and I, again, I, I really don't try to target these people. I know they work very hard for their stuff, but 180k, you know, it's not too bad. And, and normal Iron Man, I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm actually working on an Iron Man series right now. You guys will see that video tomorrow night. But yeah, 366k from this guy, and it was at this point in time that I had gone 100 kills with no deaths. And I decided, hey, I've been here for a while, let me switch it up. Let me go try to find some real PKers. Let me get into the real action. Here I am killing all these guys who can't even fight back. Let me put my skills to the true test. So here we are with my very first fight against someone with comparable gear, comparable risk, and as you can see, he Void Waker spec'd me, so I'm thinking, okay, then, you know, I know his spec web now, but uh, little did I know he also brought an AGS, and to make matters worse, he whacked me with it, and I died. Yeah, it's definitely a mood killer when you go 100 and 0 and you're up so much profit, and then you lose 40 mil, but we haven't gotten to the price check yet. We haven't shown the bank tab of all these kills yet. It was at this point where I was at hour 23, and I wasn't showing the timer in this video, but I did want to use the last hour to check some other locations around the game. I decided to go to Dark Crabs, and I actually ran into only one person after clearing all of the worlds in the game, and I got 400k. Managed to kill one guy at Hellhounds, and then this on unfortunate Iron Man literally was banking from his Scorpia trip and I just happened to log in right at the time he was running next to me. I can't imagine that luck, but uh, 300k from him and uh, this really is the point of the video where I ask you guys if you enjoyed this KBD related video of killing all these people and you want me to do this again somewhere else, maybe Scorpia, maybe Wilderness Bosses for another 24 hours, please just simply leave a like on this video and if I hit 2,000 likes then I will definitely do that any uh, really video related to 24 hours in the wilderness. Maybe I'll have some suggestions in the comments below on what uh, target area to go to next, and I would love to do it for you all. I've never had this much fun. i usually been going to bed around 6 a.m. lately the last couple months, but this video had me going until 11 a.m. at one point. Like, I just did not want to sleep. I was having so much fun uh, just scouting all these locations and finding all these strange people for all this strange and expensive loot sometimes. Other times, it's not so much expensive, but it just depends. As we reach the end here, these are just a couple of kills from Scorpia. Nice 570k, and this guy I was trying to smite 
fight for his Void Waker because he was trying to kill me after attacking this uh, group Iron Man, killing Chaos Ellie. But I didn't manage to smite the Void Waker. I did manage to kill the PVMer though. Um, again, I don't target group Iron Man. I just kill anyone. It doesn't really matter to me. It's the wilderness after all. And I really do hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, today's video. Look at that Void Waker almost killing me again. I can't have two deaths in this one. There's just no way. Definitely not going to profit at that point. This guy here at Lava Dragons, you know, two really nice hot spots if it's the right time of day would be Lava Dragons and also Scorpia. The loot there is so much better than I've seen at KBD. I don't think you're ever going to PK someone for like 5 to 10 mil like you can at KBD, but you'll get consistent 700Ks, consistent 1 mils. So yeah, if you want to see a Scorpia um, takedown, I can definitely go kill 100 Scorpia PVMers or 24 hours. Pretty much the same thing at the end of the day. Just feel free to let me know in the comments below. Now as it goes for tomorrow night, I've spent the last 6 days on my Iron Man account building up uh, a new series that I'm very excited to release tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. As you can see, these Lava Dragon loots are incredible. This was just from a bot, 230k. Uh, they do have some higher level bots now, and a 700k one, Occult Neck, and 36 Dragon Bones. I'm gonna give credit to this guy. I've never laughed so hard while killing someone. Like, no one ever types this much while I'm attacking them, and uh, this guy, as mean as he was, I want him to know if he's watching this video, I genuinely laughed for probably two minutes straight while I was trying to kill him and just shout out to him honestly even insults can be funny sometimes but careful what you say in this year and of course I have to clarify that statement uh it's just if the insults are directed towards me there you go can't get in trouble now all right 550k coins one mil loot from that last guy and an insult from this next guy here I decided to kill a rune crafter because it's been like seven years since I last tried and you know nothing really changed in seven years I still get absolutely nothing from them where's all my dragon pick eternal glory rune crafters at that's what we really need to see but i don't think anyone does uh, abyss rune crafting anymore times have changed they they really have anyway this last guy almost killed me multiple times 1.3 mil loot from tom jerry's what a great show one of the only cartoons i ever watched growing up i was more of a king of queens and two and a half men kind of kid i didn't really go for the spongebobs but anyway you're really seeing a trend here at scorpia and that's that i can't get enough of it i mean the loot here is insane this last hour was just 2200 worlds 1750 1500 it was incredible i mean the one hour i think i got over four mil in pks and now it's time to show the bank tab after 24 hours. Okay, well, 23 hours of PKing at the Lava Maze and one hour of roaming around Deep Wild. All right, 444, beautiful number of superior dragon bones, 2,200 dragon bones, uh, 90 hydras, not bad at all. Decent amount of bolts there, 10K Zolra skill, 17K ether. Here we have some jewelry, some runes, 40K deaths, 30K astrals, 30K muds, all thanks to the mom I'm cold guy. Couple mystic sets as promised, the Trident, Black Mask, 14 Nezi Helms, we have a Serpentine Helmet, a Dragon Fire Shield, a lot of great things from this 24 hour grind, and overall I killed 132 people, 39 million GP was made, and 40 million GP was lost on that one death. So, what have we learned from this video? Well, if you're going to camp somewhere, make sure to stay there, because when you tend to wander off, that's when you die, and that's where I exactly died, was not at the spot I was supposed to be in. Overall, though, it's just money. I don't really mind. I'll make it back in the next one, and I had a ton of fun doing this, and I really hope this video does good and you guys enjoyed it, because I would love to keep doing stuff like this, but it's up to you all. I'm here to entertain you guys, and at the same time, get some things done on the account, except the Inferno. Seems like that's never going to happen, but it will one day. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you to my YouTube channel members with a special shout out to Matthew Stivers, Deception Z, Angel's Blood, and XXotic X. Thank you all, and good night. Mr. No Sleep, out.